Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Let's turn the fan off. <sighs> Just watered my, um, well, nearly finished watering my mounts. Had a look at the Dendrobium Jenkins CI. I can see 19 spikes so far. So my thoughts of it not doing a mass blooming are just shot to pieces now. It's gone from a few to many. And given an average of three to four blooms per spike, we will get our mass blooming. I got onto the Lindley eye and um, I didn't expect this to bloom. It's a young plant. Yeah, it's, it's a developing plant. It's come on from a seedling. And... Um, Obviously, you you know you tend to look at the latest growths, don't you? Which is this big this big one here, this big one here, and this one down here. Um, talk about looking in the wrong place. That is a spike starting. That's not where I was looking, which is probably why I didn't see it. That could mean that some of these may produce a spike. But effectively, the three growths, large growths that were put on last year, um, I haven't had the plant long enough to know whether this is capable of blooming on the previous year's growth or whether it only blooms on two-year-old growths or whether it's capable of blooming on both. I haven't had it long enough to tell. But that is definitely a spike. There isn't anything else that would break out from halfway up a cane. That is where the spikes come from. So we have a spike. Now, what I've just said about the Jenkins CI, with an average of three or four blooms, a good spike on a Lindley eye can have a dozen blooms. Um, the spikes on Lindley eye are pendulous and a lot more blooms. So I don't know what we're going to get, but we're going to get something. Unless it aborts, of course. Whoopee! Just thought I'd let you see that. You know, makes a change from stuff that nearly caught fire, doesn't it? <laughs> see you next time.